Hello guys and welcome for the first ACT and SAT course totally for free. Go grab your pen and paper and get ready for the perfect score. A lot of parents and students are worried. How do we prepare for an exam that no one has had much exposure to? Let alone master it? Where do I turn for preparation? How do I study? My scores are important for the college and I'm in dark. Well, if you think about it, every exam your teacher gives you is a new exam. Yet, you still manage to pass. But how? You studied, as simple as that. And if you did well, it means that you studied the right things. Your teacher tells you what's going to be tested and you practice and review. Well, despite all the fears and complaints you might have over the ACT and the SAT, preparing for them isn't much different from having a final exam at the end of the year. Yes, the stakes are higher and the test is longer, but the way to success is the same. You have been accumulating the knowledge needed to do well throughout school. And while you may need to learn or relearn a few things, there won't be anything completely outside of the ballpark of what you already know. You just do your part, practice and review, and I promise it will pay off. There are 25 topics that you need to study in order to prepare yourself for the ACT or the SAT. Number one, test breakdown and test tips. Number two, relative clauses. Number three, prepositional phrases. Number four, idioms. Number five, subject verb agreement. Number six, modifiers. Number seven, run-ons. Number eight, fragments. Number nine, parallelism. Number 10, pronoun reference. 11, tenses. 12, commas, dashes, and colons. 13, apostrophes. 14, word choice, which is vocabulary. 15, transitions. 16, topic conclusion and transition sentences. 17, supporting evidence. 18, relevance and purpose. 19, placement. 20, point of view. 21, comparatives and superlatives. 22, who versus whom. 23, combining sentences. 24, data interpretation. The last topic, odds and ends you must know. The English section in the SAT is divided into two parts. The reading, which is 52 questions and you should answer them in 65 minutes, and the writing and language, which is 44 questions and you should answer them in 35 minutes. Viewing the other side of the coin, the English section in the ACT exam is divided into two parts. The English, which is 75 questions and you should answer them in 45 minutes. And the reading, which is 40 questions and you should answer them in 35 minutes. We prepared 25 videos for those topics. For complete understanding, this course is best watched from the beginning till the end. Each video was prepared to be independent from the others as much as possible. After all, you may already be proficient in some topics, yet weak at others. If so, feel free to jump around focusing on the topics that are relevant to your improvement. Let's assume that you watched the 25 videos and now you're ready for, for having an exam. You took your exams and you lost 5 marks. Get back to the wrong questions and check which topic is related to this question. Study the topic from the beginning, practice and review, and then go to the next test. Now, let me tell you how we divided our videos. Our videos are divided into two parts. First part, it's my part. I'm going to explain the topic along with different examples to make sure that you fully understood the topic. The second part is your part. I'll provide you with exercises, pause the video for a while, answer those exercises, and then come back, we'll revise the answers together. This is how it's gonna work. So, at the end, don't forget to drop me a comment telling me that I'm the best teacher on the planet ever. Till next time, keep working hard. Assalamu alaikum.